welcome to this Get Chatty About Your Local Business interview. And today we have Badi with me. Uh, my name is Badi Sarant. I, I am an accountant. I work for my own uh, practice. I am located in Collingwood on Smith Street, right across from the Woolworths is my practice. So I've been practicing accounting for a long time now and I am passionate about it. And so, so far it has been a really good um, uh, source of income for myself, yes. That's wonderful. And how did we meet? Yeah, uh, I met Arthur, I met you through uh, one of the networking events and uh, that I'm part of. Uh, I, I, networking is one of the most important things in order to grow a business. So I do, I'm a really encouraging people out there to, if they have a business, Go and introduce yourself and mm. introduce your, your business to the masses because um, it provides you good exposure. So I'm a member of a number of networking events and I met, uh, I met you, Arthur, through uh, one of those and the community. And I, I, I love your energy. I love how you express yourself in that time. And so it was all good, yes. That's great. Hey, here's one of the ways that I express myself is I enjoy networking very much too. And my theory is what's the worst that to say hi like you know if you're just saying hi the worst could happen is someone to ask you to go away but of course if someone go to a networking event and ask other people to go away that's kind of counterintuitive so i don't think that will happen yeah i mean i am totally uh with with you when it comes to go and introduce yourself go and talk to people because meeting people who knows will take you in in life there is so many opportunities where you will have to say yes or no and the one the times the little few times that you say yes they could change your life massively it has happened to me and i'm a really um per, a person that encourages people to say yes go and take your chances that's it exactly and i think this is the thing because sometimes that some people that i came across that they felt like oh i mean this person might not have anything to do with my business or something like that but here's the problem is that this person may know someone who can be connected to you. So that's why saying hello is so important. And yeah, networking for me, it, it's really like, I, I think once I got to my third year and so on, that is a lot about uh, networking and just getting to know people. Now, uh, next question, the slightly heavier one, how did um, COVID-19 and the recession affected you and your business? Yeah, so uh, COVID-19 has affected everyone equally. But at the same time, it has, di has different levels in the business industry. Uh, as an accountant, we have been in the front line helping clients. So for us, have been actually busier than what it usually would be. I'm a new business owner. So for me to be saying that in my first year of operating a business, it's incredible. Um, I have been learning to, to deal with the whole situation as we go. But uh, the, at this stage, we have to close our business. Our doors are closed. We are working from home. Um, that's in this lockdown stage four. But in the initial lockdown, we had to uh, tape our floor to let people know what's their limit, what's their uh, the reach that they can get to close to us. We had hand sanitizer on each one of our desks. We had signs on the door saying, do not come in without uh, a mask or stuff like that. So it has affected us because we cannot deal with people face to face anymore but with regards to um helping other people we are still helping them we are still mm -hmm. operating online we have we i'm a person who doesn't like much paper printing so i was already in the stage of digitalization so which is really good that's that's great and um look another thing is not only you're providing a service to your clients but at the same time you're also protecting them because until we got a vaccine and we might be looking at 2021 or even 2022. And so um, until then that I think as business owners that we also be very mindful about how we take care of our clients, even when it's a little bit tricky. So if they can talk to you on Zoom, if they can talk to you um, in person and if they have to wear a mask at your office, that's fine. I mean, that's great. And now, um, I got three lighter questions for you to um, close up this video. Uh, the first one is, what prompted you to start your own business? Oh, that's a good question. So, 
pretty much uh, what it prompted me to start my own business. Most of the time, it's my partner. My partner it's, uh, has a personality. So always want to have a business on the go, uh, an idea that he wants to grow and develop. So he saw my potential when I was an employee for a multinational company. And also, I felt that I could help better other people more than what I just can help just one single entity in the whole world. So both combined, my partner, uh, you know, constant pushing to go and do your business, go and be your own boss and my own uh, will to uh, help people, both combined for uh, bring brought me here to 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 Melbourne. I moved from Brisbane to Melbourne. So uh, what, the other reason is because I just didn't want to stay in Brisbane for too long. Uh, the weather is too hot. I'm Latin America after all. I like uh, not too hot weather. So yeah, that's what it pretty much brought me to start my business in Melbourne. But uh, yeah, so far I have been operating since March last year and um, uh, I, I enjoy the community in Melbourne, the, mm. the people, the multinational uh, people, it's really important for me. Going to the theaters when they open back again, I mean, that was one of my hobbies and I, I really enjoy that. I, I must say that the theater scene and also the social scene in Melbourne was actually one of the main reasons that I, I moved from Sydney to Melbourne. Uh, I'm not saying that Sydney has a bad social scene, I love everything about it, but then, I just like Melbourne a tiny little bit more. <laughs> Same here. Guilty. There you go. Uh, now, uh, next question is, what you enjoy the most about working in your industry? Um, helping people, meeting different people all the time. Um, everyone has a different uh, life when it comes to accounting. Everyone, Ooh. accounting's need is different to everyone else. And that's my passion is to meet people. I have enjoyed in the past working as a customer service representative that has allowed me to be able to listen to people and not just be like, give me yeah. your numbers yeah. and I will, um, I will see what I, I, will do, I will deal with it on my side. Um, it has actually provided me the, the opportunity to ask questions, explain people yeah. what um, the benefits are for them in order to get an account, a professional, other than being able to claim the deduction of paying accountant, you also get the tax returns and uh, accounting, bookkeeping services, payroll service, done by a professional, so you can dedicate more time to do your business. Mm. So that's my passion. What That's why I found uh, pleasure on doing accounting, because I also like to, you know, a little bit of perfectionist and having control over things. So mm. it's, it's actually a good thing to, you know, I don't have to, uh, I just have to look at a computer in order to control numbers. And sometimes that when you are looking after, like I have that, I had that similar experience a few years back that I, that's actually one of the reasons why I started my own business is that I, I felt that if I can explore what this person need, then there might be things that I might be able to like reach out to can help them a little bit more or there are something that they think they need that they actually don't need it. They'll be like, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I mean, of course, if, if you're in a, a big, um, for example, accounting firm or organization or corporation, then you might only be able to focus on one part of the business and then you don't get to reach out and understand and have that 360 um, viewpoint about that person and what they need. And that's something that happened. I mean, we in the day and age that, you know, sometimes that, people always feel like if they're going for a big business, they're missing something. There's something that's not quite fitting me. But then that's the thing. If you're working with one-on-one -on -one with a person, then you can learn what they need. And yeah, be practical. And uh, yeah, I, cannot, yeah. I cannot agree more with that because uh, personally I have had clients that they don't realize that what they are doing could be, is not the best thing for their business. For mm. example, or, or, or things that they could be doing will improve their business. For example, job keeper. I have uh, clients who have come up uh, until the last uh, leg of the job keeper uh, oh. payments in, in July, thinking that they couldn't have applied. And I reviewed their financials and the, their situation. Um, their business is actually growing, but on the job keeper alternative rules, they can still get the payments even if their sales have grown. You know, so there's so many things that. You have to teach them and, or, or let them know because 
um, they didn't know those things. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Actually, I learned something new just by talking to you right now. So <laughs> there you go. And uh, one more question, finally. In a parallel universe that you were working, you would be working in a different field. What profession do you think you'll be in? Uh, well, I had uh, at the beginning of my career, I didn't want to become an accountant. I wanted to become a doctor. But then it turns out that I was um, not quite comfortable around blood. So <laughs> um, yeah. that's what brought me to uh, finances. And you know, I can deal with a paper cut better than what a big cut could be. But yeah, so I, I would say I was like a doctor in the future. I will, I will, I'm, people tell me that I have very soft hands, uh, hands perfect for a uh, surgeon. So maybe that's what I was meant to do. Hey, I mean, that there might be a parallel universe version of you out there who is a doctor looking for an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I could be. Thanks really for taking time in this video. And please check out Texas Collingwood on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. And please get chatty about your local business like rallies and like and share this content because like I said before, someone connected to you might be connected to someone who's looking for something like that. And we do need to get out there and support our local businesses.